Candida is considered to be a huge enemy, um, a big problem. Uh, but actually, Candida in a healthy body is a peaceful passenger, a harmless fungus uh, that is actually helping us to keep our body clean by eating up the debris uh, and sometimes excess sugar. Most uh, anti-candida diets recommend us to avoid sugar completely or reduce it to a bare minimum. They even recommend to avoid fruit because fruit contains sugar. But we need to remember that sugar in fruit comes attached to antibacterial, antiviral and antifungal components <laughs> that uh, can uh, help us to reduce bad fungus or fungus overgrowth. But when we separate this sugar from these vital nutrients, uh, then we might get an issue. But there is even more important component of our diet that affects candida overgrowth, and it's not sugar, it's fat. When we have too much fat in our bloodstream, then fat blocks insulin from getting into insulin receptors and opening up the doorway for sugar to enter our cells, our muscles, our brain, our liver. So what happens is our cells are starving for sugar. So we're eating all this sugar together with fat, but sugar can't enter our cells efficiently because the door lock is, so to speak, uh, jammed with fat. So insulin, like a key, cannot get into this um, door lock and open the door for sugar. And of course, you can reduce or eliminate your symptoms on a low sugar diet, but because our cells still need glucose, it's the primary source of energy, uh, then you might not feel so good. And uh, if you don't feel good on your anti-candida diet, then you might consider trying the low fat, high carbohydrate diet, rich in fruits and vegetables, and the lower in fats. Just remember, before you jump right into eating lots of sugary fruit, uh, if you've been eating high fat, low carb diet, you need to transition slowly. Give yourself at least a day or two to eat a low fat and low sugar diet. It might be a little difficult because you're not gonna be getting lots of calories, so try to do it on a weekend where you can relax and just uh, drink green juices and cucumbers, tomatoes, with maybe a little bit of berries, um, but not too high sugar fruit. And after your body will use up these fatty acids in your bloodstream and uh, your fat levels will go down, then you can introduce some higher sugar fruit and uh, get your energy up. And if you don't feel confident, follow my advice because I'm not a doctor and this video is not a medical advice then you can watch videos by Dr. Gregor or Dr. Doug Graham, and I'll put the links down below in the description. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna hear more from long-term raw vegan, uh, I've been raw vegan for 12 years already, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.